Hi guys, welcome back. Today, I tackled my pantry. When I say tackle, I mean I remodeled my pantry. Um, let me first say I am renting, so this is not my home. But, after, let's just say to make a long story short, my landlord loved what I did. He thinks it looks awesome. So, um, always ask before you start tearing stuff in because it's not your property, it's someone else's. So, covered that. So, I decided that I wanted to make the pantry different because it was just so crowded for such a small space. It has so much bulky, I guess you say furniture in there to hold storage. And the storage, after a while, it just wasn't working. I was like, you know what, I think I'm going to do something different. So, wait till you see what I did to this pantry. It is amazing. I mean, it looks bigger, brighter, oh my gosh. But because it's a remodel, I decided that my budget was $100. And that's including bins, labels, paint, storage. I mean, you name it, that goes into my, I, that was my budget, $100. And for some people, that's not a lot, you know. But I'm such a frugal person, I made it work. So let me show you what I did. This took, I think, let's see, probably three days, I think. Can't remember. I think, yeah. It was just a long process. Um, and so I'm going to show you how I started the process um, by first um, getting everything out of the space. I mean, it took us a while to even get the furniture out because we were like, how did they get it in? But with the help of my husband and my son, they were able to get all that stuff out. And you know what? Let's, let me stop talking and start showing. So let's jump on in. So this is what my pantry looked like before. I plan on taking all this furniture out because it's just too much and it's so crowded in this small little space so we're just gonna pull everything out and then we're gonna take all this furniture out afterwards I don't wanna stay here no ain't gonna keep it low now if you wanna go let's go let's wrap it up and hit the road I just got an awesome vibe striking the wind of hopes now everything's on my mind Understand that we get one chance, one chance. You, you will never regret the things that we'll do. Cause Stay open because of this. Let me show you. See, it hits it and it doesn't stay open. So, that's another reason why we're getting rid of this thing. You, you gotta understand that we get one chance, one chance. that I put everything in baskets or bins instead of just taking things out one by one. It just makes it easy to transport everything. So when you clean out space, use baskets or laundry baskets or anything you can to fill stuff in so it'll be easier and you'll have to take less trips. Someday we will look back And our hearts will be home this 
wall unit. It had a lot of screws in it. So uh, my husband and I, he's just holding it, but there was no need because it was stuck to the wall even when we took the screws out. The light, okay, you got it. <clears throat> Yay, my hero. Okay, kids, y'all taking this downstairs and put it in the garage. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I'm in the pantry and it's early. Um, since I got up early, so I could just work on it before I leave for church. Um, but um, I'm gonna patch up the holes, uh, all these nail holes. Let's see, you can see. Yeah, all these nail holes I'm gonna patch up. And what I use, I always use when I do this, is um, dry decks. Focus. There we go. This is what I use. I just bought a small can. And what I love about this stuff, it's this really helps. It's pink. So it goes on pink and you know it's dry when it turns white. So that's what I'm gonna use. I'm just gonna show how I patch up one hole and um it comes, it comes in a kit. Um this is the kit it comes in and it gives you this kit actually gives you a, um, a weave, so if you want, like, I have a big hole. I'll probably use this now, but I have a big hole right here. So you can't, I mean, you could probably fill it up, but I'm sorry. I'm like, sorry. So I was thinking of using this one here. I mean, you probably could fill it up, but it's kind of a big hole, so um, I'll probably use that. And it comes with a spatula. Is that what you call it? Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. It's early, so I'm just gonna show you what I do with a couple of holes, and then um, I'm just gonna do the rest of them, and you'll probably see the end result of this, because again, I don't wanna make this video too long. Um, so what I do is I just take some, put on the putty knife, and I just run it across until it's smooth. And that's pretty much it. So I'm just going to tackle the rest of them and show you what the end result look like once it's done. So as you can see, all the pink, there's just this wall. Um, but yeah, so like you can tell some of it's starting to dry. Hold on. Some of it's starting to dry white. But I try to make it as thin as possible because afterwards I have to sand. So. Continuing on. So, I hate this paint, this blue tile. So, I decided that I'm going to paint it white with my paint, all in one paint, that no sand, no stripping, no priming. Um, I did use this when I did my um, TV stand. I'll link that video down below. But yeah, 
I still have a lot left that I can use to paint this. So, because it comes all the way around the corner and I don't like it, so I already started painting it. And I don't have a roller brush, so I use this, but it'll work. So this is currently a dining room. This is the hutch house there. Um, someone may be coming to get that, but here's a bin. Um, here's some stuff. Stuff over here, over there, but. So everything you see is on the table. I put everything in bins so it can be more organized and not just thrown on here. So, yeah, that's everything. It's a lot, but I'm gonna organize everything and then put everything on the in the pantry. So I just wanted to share that with you. Okay, you ever been in the zone? You just really into what you're doing that you forgot to put the camera on. So this is the first coat. Um, I honestly am not gonna put a second coat there because it's gonna be a uh, um, something there. So I'm not gonna do a second coat. But yeah, I paint the ceiling. You know, so it's um, the same color as my kitchen living room because it's leftover paint. So why go and buy paint? You know, it's called um, Silver Mist. It's bare um, interior satin enamel, and the color is Silver Mist. So it's gonna come out with a little darker, but yeah. I'm sorry, I didn't show you guys painting, but I was so into it, I just totally forgot about the camera. So this is what it looks like. So I'm gonna um, put together, finish up the final coat, and then. We'll see what it looks like. So, here's what I put in the Billy bookcases. This one I already had, and this one's new. You can tell because this is kind of off white, and this is white, but it's all right. So, I think what I'm going to do now is just put everything back, and then I'm going to try to figure out how I want what you know baskets and stuff I want to use. So, we're just going to put everything back for now. So, it's a lot brighter in here. There's not a lot of stuff. So I'm going to fill everything up. I'm going to shop my house first before I go buy any bins. This is going to be a long process. It's probably going to take, I'll probably just put everything back and then do another video of how I organize everything. So, time to get started. I do labels. Um, before when I did my labels, I would use my Posca tape markers, and I would use this and just handwrite. But I decided to whip out my Cricut and to make vinyl labels. Now this video is not sponsored, but this is my Cricut. Um, believe it or not, this is my third Cricut. Um, I got my first Cricut like in 2004, and that Cricut is totally different from this Cricut. Um, 
with that cricket, I'll show, I'll put a picture somewhere in, on the screen so you can see what what the first well my first cricket looked like. You had to buy cartridges, and in each cartridge there was um it had a font page a font page because it had like a blank keyboard and the when you got the font keyboard you put it on top of the it's it's so hard to explain but um, that was my first cricket I bought that around 2004. Um, and then I also have the Cricut Explorer Air 2, which I still have that my kids and my husband gave me. And now I have this Cricut, which is the Cricut Joy, which I love, love, love. It's so much easier. <laughs> um, this is not sponsored by Cricut. Um, but if they want to, you know, I love their products and I've, you know, have been using it for over almost two decades. Wow. Anyway, so I decided to do vinyl, um, labeling for my, um, my dry goods um so this is the vinyl that i bought this is the vinyl it's um smart vinyl so with the cricut joy you can either use um with the mat or without a mat and with the smart vinyl you don't need a mat which is good so i already printed out everything because there's there's tons of videos of how to use this and i don't want to just be another person to show you how to do it so i'm just going to jump in and how i change my label so what I did was I printed out all my labels I know it's you can't see well maybe you can but you can probably see the cutout it's kind of dusty that's bad but anyway but you can see the cutout kind of and so this is what I'm going to use and so I brought two of my jars I already took the um I already cleaned the jar so it doesn't have the blue writing that I had before but this is brown sugar and this is almond flour. So I'm going to cut out. I'm just going to show you how you do this. It's really simple. Because I know people get intimidated by the Cricut. But it is so simple. So what you do is once you cut, print it out. Well, they cut it out. You're going to cut out the word that you're going to use. And so I'm going to do brown sugar first. So let me get this one out the way. And let's see. Brown sugar. And um, I used a different font. I used, um, oh gosh, what's the name of the font? It's called Fresh Tea Milk. I found it from, oh my gosh, I'll put a link of, I'll put a, um, I'll put it up here on the screen what the name of it. I can't remember the, the website's name. Oh my gosh, it's totally blank. But um, yeah, so I used that, um, it's called Fresh Tea Milk. And so I uploaded it on my computer and then uploaded it on my Cricut design space and so you can even use the phone you know if you download the app you can even use it on your phone so we're gonna do brown sugar first so what you do is you just take off the vinyl like this and it takes off all the extra and they say you should do it at an angle and there we go. So now we're going to get rid of this. I'll just leave that there. And what you do now is take your, I think it's called a weeding tool. And you just take out all the extras. Like in the B and the O and the G. And there you have it. Whoops. I don't know where that one went. So now you see the brown sugar. So now what you need is transfer tape. This is transfer tape, and what you're going to do is use this to lift up this. So, what you do is you just cut a piece off. I try to be, not to use a lot of my transfer tape because I'm running low and I need to buy some more. So, you just cut that, and then you just make sure it can cover the words. So, now what you do is you're going to take your, you can use your nails or you can take your weeding tool and try to find. And then take the tape off this paper, which is kind of difficult. There we go. So now you just take, peel it off like this. It's clear. You can see the cricket word there. And then you take this and you just put it on top of your word. And make sure you don't have no wrinkles like I just did.
Okay, so now you take this to, I think they call it varnishing. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know the technical terms, but I'm just letting you know. <laughs> um, and you just push it down so the water can adhere to the um, transfer tape or paper, I should say. And that's what you're doing pretty much. I always, I do the back also because I really want this to come off. And sometimes you just have to work with it. You know, as you can see from everything, you can tell my favorite color is like, uh, like aqua and teal. So what you do now is that you peel off at an angle and it starts coming off on the transferred paper. And if it doesn't start, if parts of it doesn't come out, just go over it again. And it starts coming off. It's like the U is kind of wants to stay on there, but we're gonna get that baby right off. There we go. And the B is starting to come off. And the S. And there you go. So it's off of this, and now it's on this. So what you do now is take your jar. I don't put. I usually just put it on lightly so I can see exactly where I want it. And so. Let's see. I think that looks good right there. And once you decide where you want it, then you push it on like this. You use your varnishing tool. I don't know why I called it scraper. And you just rub it on there. Whoops. And then again, at an angle, mind you, if it starts, if it doesn't stick on it, just keep going over it. Go to angle and just start taking it off and just go slowly because you don't want it to not work after all this hard work you did to get it on there. <laughs> and voila! And that's how you do it. So I'm trying to get the brown sugar up. But yeah, so brown sugar. I was going to use some type of script font, but I was like, will my kids be able to read this? So, but yeah, so I'm going to do, um, so that's how you do it. I'm so I'm trying, my budget's a hundred dollars. I'm trying to stay on the budget. So instead of going on buy labels, so I saw some I like, but I didn't want to spend that much money. I found, um, these cardboards, this is what it looked like originally. And there was a pack of, I think it said 10, but I got was eight and I cut them in half and painted them with my, um, uh better than paint beyond paint i'm sorry beyond paint and so i'm going to use these as my labels uh for the baskets um the woven baskets so um again think outside the box so this is my new pantry remember there was a shelf over here i took that down the whole hutch that was here took that down. It is so much room in here. It's breathable. I don't feel so, you know, it's not so crowded in here. And so I used, I shopped my house. The only thing, my budget was $100. I bought the bookcase from my kid, which is $49. Um, I bought these two um, Lazy Susans. I had this one before. I got this one from Hobby Lobby. They didn't have any more. But I got these from Home Good. They were $5.99. Um, and the only thing else I had to buy was the vinyl for my labels. And so the vinyl was um, $14.99 and the, actually the these cardboard thing, I had to buy this. It was actually brown and I painted them. I showed that before and that was $2. So I saved way under budget. I think it looks so good. I love the fact that it's airy, and <laughs> that's what everyone says. All my kids, my husband, like, we can walk in here and don't feel like we have to hit something. But um, yeah, so I used everything I had. Um, so I, like I said, I bought these. I've had these when I did my last, like last year I bought these for my pantry when I did the cabinet. The cabinet is still here, just to let you know. But I did put contact paper and cover this, this counter, and I'll link down below which um, contact paper I use because I think it looks so much better but um yeah everything else I had um 
these containers I actually had it when I had my craft space and I used to keep my markers in here but when I decluttered that I decided to keep these because I was like I'm gonna use them for something and they came in handy as you can see we have three bins for tea but we drink a lot of tea in the house um what else these you've always seen it used to be on this wall which is no longer that unit's no longer there and I had all those containers before these bins are actually from I bought these about two months ago for um, another project well another space which wasn't working out and I actually got these from home goods there were two for $9.99 it looks like the Ikea ones but they're not these I got from um, home goods this basket was from home goods but I bought this like two three years ago but this is the bin that I have my recyclable bags in my re yeah and remember I showed you when I did that video <laughs> And this is the one that was ripped, but I decided to keep it. And I just switched it around, put the label. So, ugh, that looks better. I put the chips down here because my, when we had the hutch, it used to be up top, my son, my youngest used to climb the hutch to get it. So, I decided to um, put it down here. Um, the reason why you see binder clip there and there is because we use binder clips to close the bag. So, but um, it's just, everything's labeled. You know, um, look, they left the bread untied. I gotta tie that up. But yeah, so the kids know everything is. These are extra spices for my spice drawer, which I did a video on that. I'll link that below. And the medicine we keep up high. But this looks so good. I'm so happy. You know, and now everything is easy to get to, like chicken stock and nuts and seeds, crackers, salad stuff. And my oils and vinegars, baking condiments. I labeled everything, but <laughs> I just, I'm the type of person, I can't, as I say, decanter everything. Like, put all the cereals in a container, put all the snacks in a container, you put all the chips. And that's, that's just too much for me. This works for me. So, but this is the end of it. It took a long time. I did show you guys when I was putting things back because I kept moving things back and forth. I mean, I was... Like this shelf here was up here, and then these jars were on the top shelf. I mean, I, I rearranged this thing like four or five times until I felt which works best for our family. So it looks awesome. I love it. Wasn't that amazing? Oh, I love it, love it, love it. I think that's my best and favorite DIY by far. I mean, it is, even my kids, they're just saying it's so easy to walk in here without hitting a furniture. You know, the kids can find things, they don't have to open drawers or anything like that. And like I always say, shop your house first before you start going out and buying stuff. And that's what I did. So I didn't spend a, hardly anything on just containers. So let me give you the breakdown of my budget, how I spent the money. Again, my budget was $100. So. Um, I first, um, the wall repair kit, that cost $8.98. I got that from Home Depot. Um, then I got, the paint was free because our landlord, um, he hired a contractor because the wall needed to get fixed in our living room. So when they came, they asked me to pick, pick the paint color. I picked the same one in my kitchen, which is Silver Mist by Bear, which I'll link down below. And they had paint left over and they said I can keep it. So I used that. Why go out and buy paint when you have it? So that was free. Um, the vinyl I bought to do the labels on my Cricut, that cost, and the transfer tape. I had to get transfer tape for my vinyl because I ran out. So all of that came up to about $18.99. Um, the Lazy Susans, I only bought two. Those came up to $5.99 each. And the Ikea bookcase, which was $49, which I got because the other one I already had. So the grand total was $88.74. So I stayed under budget. Gosh, I'm just, you know, you always say how proud you are of someone else, but I, I am so proud of myself. You should always be proud of yourself. I am so proud of myself. Good job, Nadine. <laughs> good job. It looks so good. I am just so thrilled by um, the outcome. Um, oh, such a transformation. It is so great. And again, at the end of the day, as long as you're happy, that's all that matters. But oh my gosh i'm i'm just amazed i'm serious it, it just came out so good i love it but thank you so much for watching 
please hit that subscribe button down below. I don't know why you haven't hit earlier, but what you waiting for? Go ahead, hit the button. I'm waiting, I'm waiting, you know me. I'm a patient woman. I will wait for you to hit that button. <laughs> please give it a thumbs up if you like videos like this. It helps my um, channel and guys, thank you so much. I am grateful for all you guys who keep coming back to watch my videos. I really and truly appreciate you. Until we meet again, guys, have a very blessed day. Bye.